The Spokane River is rising as mountain snow begins to melt, and that means more garbage and litter along the banks is getting swept into the river. The Spokane River Keeper says that pollution can have a serious impact, especially on wildlife. New at 10 tonight, he told Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk what's being done. Kyle? Well, last year, volunteers removed 13 tons of trash. It's really become an uphill battle, though. Riverkeeper Jerry White Jr. has seen more and more homeless camps along the bank. He says poverty has an impact on the river's health. This time of year, the Spokane River is an impressive sight. Right now, 105,000 gallons of water is running by every second. It is quite dangerous if you get up on the sides of the river. You can be swept into the trees. And the river is very, very cold right now. Spokane River Keeper Jerry White Jr. says the river is also running high right now, creeping up the banks, which are home to wildlife and people. We, we've watched kind of a social tragedy unfolding, but it's also a pretty serious impact on the river. More and more homeless camps are dotting the banks between TJ Minak and Feltz Field. Poverty has an impact. We see these camps um, with no garbage service along the edge of the river. And when we have these flows come up like this in, into where people have been living, uh, garbage and other uh, housing items get washed right in the river and then they're, they're garbage, they're, they're pollution. White has found toxic materials like chemicals, paint cans, and excessive amounts of plastic. Which breaks down into microplastic. Uh, and then it gets ingested by all the wildlife. The cleanup never stops. We picked up 26,000 pounds of litter just last year with over a thousand volunteers. We are certainly watching uh, the rise of people in poverty and people living along the banks of our river in our city, just as we're watching across the West Coast. The camps pose a problem with no easy solution. When conditions are safe, White likes to put service providers in boats. We'll, we'll go ashore, uh, folks from SNAP will get out, uh, offer services, see, you know, inquire as to whether services are needed. They'll get back on the boat and then we go down to the next camp. The Spokane River is an urban river. White says you can't put the blame squarely on homeless camps. Everything finds its way to the river and so we will find all kinds of litter that's not attributed to homelessness. And the Spokane Riverkeeper is always looking for volunteers to come out for a few hours on the weekends to clean up the banks. We have a link with more information online. In the newsroom, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.